Hi everyone, so today in this video we will learn about lexical analysis that is scanner. We will learn about pseudocodes, lex library functions and lex programs. So let us go ahead. First of all let us see the definition of lexical analysis. So lex analysis is a process of converting a sequence of characters from source code into a sequence of tokens. Okay. Lex. Lexical Analyzer Generator Lex is a computer program that generates lexical analysis, scanners or lexers. The purpose of Lex program is to read an input stream and recognize tokens. The input of Lex is Lex language. Lex is generally available in Unix or Linux. It generates a scanner written in C language. Lexical Analyzer on Lex Source code is written in Lex. For example, program's name is sample, then its extension will be .l. Then it is given to the Lex compiler. Then we get the output as in lex.yy.c. Now we have to give this file to the C compiler and from a dot out we will get the output. Input in form of characters is given to a dot out execution and we get tokens as output. Examples of token pattern and lexemes for int a equals to 9. First of all, we will form a table, token pattern lexemes. Then we will write int a equals to 9 in uh, 4 columns. So first of all, int is in keyword, so we will write token as keyword. a is an identifier or variable, so we write identifier over there. a is an operator, so we write operator over there and 9 is a number. And pattern, what will the pattern of the int keyword? It will be int only. And what will the pattern for variable? It can be starting with character only and may contain character and integers afterwards. And these are the uh, operator patterns and numbers are given from 0 to 9. Now how to write pseudocode for identifiers? So step 1, we have to form the regular expression for it. So id first will be i and then another will be d or i pattern will be first starting with characters small or capital and then it may contain digits also and we have to form finite automata at zero after zero state it will only be proceeded if i is given to it and in state one it will be in recursion with i or d and ws and return get token install is by default over there in the final state of the finite automata now writing pseudocode first of all state 0 c equals to get care if letter of c go to state 1 else error so first character first letter should be character only then c equals to get care if letter c or digit c go to state 1 else error because in state 1 it was a uh, loop of uh, character or digit but in state 0 it was only of character then in final state we have to write state 2 retract c return id comma install this is the this is by default we have to write this in the final state and what is retract retract is used to retract look ahead pointer one character and next pointer is limiter which is not part of token so we retract procedure okay so what are the lex library functions y y lex is used to start scanning and returns a string value y by text whenever a lex matches a token the text of the token is stored in y by text new token overrides it if new token is passed y by wrap here 1 equals to no input and 0 equals to input pending y by error reports or de detects error now let us go to the structure of a lex program there are three sections separated by ampersand ampersand so first of all in the first section there is definition or declaration and it is written in the curly braces then separated by double ampersand translation rules first of all we have to select the pattern and then action to be performed then we have to write the procedure in the void main now let us go to the first program of lex lex program to recognize verbs have had has so first of all we will write the hash include stdio.h in the first section then in the action and pattern section we have to first of all check the pattern as has have had and then printf 
and the string is a verb yy text for that string and and other than that small or capital any of those variables are not the specified verbs now the third section of word mean we just have to start it by calling the function yylx now let us see another program lex program to identify tokens like id if and for so first of all in the first section we have to write hash include stdi.h then in the other section id means what identifier so first element should be a character and then any characters or digit can be included then in f small i and capital i small f and capital f and for for also small f capital f small o capital o small r capital r and in all those actions in the first one that is return id in the second one return f and in the third one that is return for now we have to write the third section that is of main printf enter word and yylx to start the scanning now let us write another program and also run it so lex program to find factorial of a number in the first section we have to write hash include stdi dot h and fact equals to 1 j and n variables to calculate the factorial and in the second section uh, the integers will be from 0 to 9 and plus for one or more and equals to a t o i means alpha 2 integer because y or text returns string f equals to 1 j less than equal to n j plus plus fact star equals to j so fact variable is containing the value of the factorial of the specified number given by the user now we have to write the third section of main printf enter the number for factorial and yylx to start scanning then it went to that action and pattern section and then afterwards i have written printf factorial of the specified number equals to percent d percent d is the value of the fact variable now let us run this first of all we have to save this as fact.l now in command line first of all i have to compile that lex file so lex fact.l then it will be compiled by the lex compiler now i have to compile that lex.yy.c part so c compiler and then hyphen ll means that is lex library now a dot out enter the number for factorial let us give the number as 4 and we get the answer as factorial of 4 equals to 24 thanks a lot guys for watching the video and all the best for the exams do like share and subscribe the channel thank you